It just blow my mind that we can build modern day applications with few commands only. Where it used to take me weeks to ship products, with new AI tools I can ship nowadays in hours. Today we're building a micro SaaS app. Book me with a tool called CodeBuff. So let's jump to our code editor and start building. So the first thing you need to do is npm install CodeBuff. So this is the command you need to run. I already did that. If I go to my Next.js application, it is just showing me this text, book me. If I go to my text editor, here is my Next.js application. The first thing I do whenever I'm trying to build any application with AI is to put all those features I want to build in this feature store MD file. You can put this file in your source directory. It's up to you. But the thing is, you don't want to give AI like a blank slate. That's the worst thing you can do. So the first thing is like create your project, like give it a structure and add everything in this features.md file, right? So let's get started with the code buff. So first thing you need to do is start the code buff. So you can do code buff. Code buff can read your files, read your project. So the first thing is, can you please read through the features.md file and please create the app as per rules I wrote down. Created files as well. You need to add code to those files. Enter that, it's now doing its thinking. It's now going to read files and folders in my project. And let's check out what it is doing. So I have this homepage. If I go to book your call, created this calendar, which looks fine. I mean, we can certainly improve that. Let's book some time. A call type, let's say it's a video call, my own name, email. And if I do confirm booking, booking is confirmed. But I think we can do more. Like, can you also improve the landing page? I want to save my data in local storage. So because it is not saving data to a database right now, so I, I was like, maybe let's try storing to a local storage so that we can at least store the data. So if you have noticed, it gives you two commands, diff and checkpoint. If you do diff, it will give you all the uh, difference between the code it added and the previous code. And checkpoint is if you don't want that code, you can just type checkpoint one and it will delete the code it just wrote. I tried cursor as well, but I found code buff response is faster and needs fewer revisions and reverting code in cursor is real pain. In code buff, it's just one single command. So let's go here, it fixes the home page. And if I go to here, select date, time, text, and I can add my name, email. If I do confirm booking, oh, it's throwing some error. It's throwing 404 when we submit the details. So it's not working as expected. So let's see what it does. So as it's thinking, it, it, I think it figured out the issue. I don't want to touch it. I just want to know like how far the AI, the modern AI can go. So it's making some progress. If I go here, okay, so now I have the booking ID, I have everything. I mean, this is pretty cool. It just took me, I don't know, like a minute or so to create an application. Like we can book a date. I can certainly improve the UI. That's not the, let's do a video call this time. And let's do like David and like test.com. If I do confirm booking, the booking is confirmed. So again, if you like it, please go to codebuff.com and try it yourself.